Are you gonna be sailing on the Norwegian sun? If so, this is the video for you. We are gonna take you through everything you need to know about the Norwegian sun. Stay tuned. In this video, I'm about to give you a complete walkthrough of the Norwegian sun. We're gonna go through the dining, the entertainment, the shopping, the pool and deck side. We're gonna go through the fitness options. We're gonna take you through absolutely everything. So let's get started. For Kelly and I, almost every day begins with time in the Word of God and prayer. After that, where should we begin in this awesome ship, the Norwegian Sun, and beginning to show you what it's like? Many people in the past have mentioned how they want to hear about the dining, so let's start there. The Norwegian Sun is absolutely loaded with dining options. There are three primary locations that are complimentary for your time here on the Norwegian Sun. One is the Garden Cafe. This is your buffet option. It is open many times throughout the day and there are people continuously flowing in and out of that buffet area. When the curtains are down, that's when the preparation is in progress. When they go up, that's when the food for the day is revealed. They have new specialties, it seems like every single day. One day we had Mexican, another day it seemed like it was Indian food. We've had hibachi, all kinds of great food. Love the taste of the Norwegian Sun Garden Cafe. Then there is the Four Seasons restaurant. This is more of a contemporary feel to that. Great place to eat. And then finally there's Seven Seas. Seven Seas is more of your traditional, what you would think of in terms of cruise dining. Dining at the Seven Seas restaurant is great. It is traditional cruise dining where you select your appetizer, your entree, and also your dessert. But the atmosphere is just extremely elegant. Sometime during your stay in the Norwegian Sun, make sure that you take time to spend an evening dining at the Seven Seas. Something a little different with Norwegian than maybe say the carnival is you don't have set dining times. These multiple locations are open at various times throughout the day, and you can basically flow in at the time that is most convenient for you. In addition to these primary locations, there is the Great Outdoors Cafe. Kelly and I absolutely love this. It's on the back of the ship. It's a covered area and you have tables sitting out there and it's open at different times for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A great way to take in the sea, to take in the port area while enjoying some delicious food. Does this not look absolutely delicious? I cannot wait to try it. If you want to take in some of the sort of a classy feel and sit back in some comfortable leather chairs, I would recommend to you Moderno. It is open for breakfast and is open for lunch. Breakfast has a continental breakfast, and then at lunch, you can feast yourself on some great, great pizza. And if you happen to have a picky eater with you, no worries with that. In addition to the pizza, you can usually find a burger station somewhere, either at the Great Outdoors or at the Garden Cafe. And never forget that you also have room service available. There is a slight charge, maybe seven, eight dollars for things, but you can order absolutely anything on the menu from burger to pizza to macaroni and cheese. And also at all of these other locations, there is such a huge variety on the menu. You will find something that everyone will like. And if you happen to have a special craving, there are plenty of specialty restaurants there to help that out. There's seven, in fact. You can get everything from French, Italian, Mexican, sushi. There's a steakhouse. All kinds of different things to help you satisfy the craving that you have. There is a charge at all of the specialty restaurants, but hey, if you got a craving, at least there's something available there so you can satisfy that craving. While taking in all of this great eating, you may want to get a workout in while you're here on the Norwegian Sun. So let's go check out the fitness options. For me, I want to start off any day with a workout. So I always want to find where the fitness center is on any cruise ship. On the Norwegian Sun, it is on the forward part of the ship on deck 11. So I'm going to take you through now so you can get a feel for what the fitness center is like here on the Norwegian Sun. But that is not all the fitness options available on the Norwegian Sun. Directly around the corner, there is another room that is set up for yoga, calisthenics, CrossFit. So I'm gonna take you in there now so you can check that out. Directly behind me, right as you come in the entrance of this room, there are sign-up sheets for Pilates, indoor cycling, fight club, body sculpt, a whole variety of different group exercise things that you can engage in while you're here cruising. That was 
an awesome workout we had this morning. Out of all the ships I've ever been on, this is by far my favorite jogging track. I love being able to run in the shade. It's fabulous. The jogging track happens to be on the same level as our room, so why not check out our room now? All right, so we are about to go into our Ocean View State Room and check it out. Let's see what we've got. All right, here we are. Voila! Voila! Awesome! We got an awesome, beautiful king size. That's king, queen. I think it's a king, yeah. It's yeah. a king size bed. Beautiful bed. Yeah. And wonderful couch to sprawl on. All right, let's do the reveal, babe. The window? Let's reveal the window. The let's window. see what you we got. got. Ready? Yeah. Uh, count down. Yep. Three, two, one, one. and. <laughs> wow. Oh, sorry. Let's okay, get so get rest of the way there. we sort of have an ocean view, but we have a walkway that goes in front of our ocean view. Mm -hmm. but that's okay. That's right? actually the jogging track. Okay. So instead of it being on the top deck, it's here, which is sort of cool. It keeps you a little out of the wind, but that's the jogging track. So if you're coming out of the shower, make sure your curtains closed or the joggers and walkers <laughs> may uh, like, whoa, hey, how's, how's it going? So I came back in my room to get my phone on the charger, and there's some creepy guy staring in my window. I don't know. All right, and then we have our TV, our drawer space. What's in that far drawer to the left there? This is um, a fridge. Yo! Oh, yeah. What we got? Got some water. Some cool. more water and more water. Right. Three types of water. That's probably not free. Probably not. <laughs> Close that. Got our TV. Bam. Good amount of storage. Yep. Regular right drawers here. Yep. And over here we have even more storage, which is fabulous. So, let's see. What do we got, babe? Up here we've got our, our safe. safe. So this is where you want to keep your passports. This is where you want to keep your wallet. All of your stuff, you set your own code for that, keeps it safe, no matter whether the room steward or whoever's coming in and out, keeps you good to go on that. So, got a little extra shelf space with that. Got a few shelves here. Fabulous. Multiple drawers. And then, back here, bam, full length mirror. We've got plenty oh, of wow. storage here we got for a your lot stuff. of storage in here. Life jackets. So you can keep it safe in case you're going down. And so that's looking good. All right. The bathroom. The bathroom. Reveal. Okay. Um, ready? I'm ready. Here we go. All right. Bam. The most important room in the house. Hello. When you need this room, there is no more important room in the entire ship. Okay. But it's cool. We need to check the toilet because yes, if you've watched our previous vlog on Carnival, we had a trouble with the toilet. So we're going to see if this one works. My friends, Carnival can have their issues, but they fix them really quickly. <laughs> okay. We're going to push it again. Push the button again. <laughs> it's not working. The key is the button. The you button. Know, the test of a good toilet is that you push the button once and it works. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, and one. Ah, oh, it works. Hey, what is that thing above the toilet? <laughs> oh, I'm fresh now. <laughs> what is that for real? <laughs> I don't know. In fact, I don't know where that's been. I don't know why I'm talking. What is that? Is it a hair dryer? It's like a vacuum. No, the hair dryer's in there. This is the hair dryer. What is that? Oh my goodness. I mean, seriously, does it like dry it off of it after it's done? I don't want to touch it, man. What does it what say? Is this? What does it say this? It says elite. <laughs> <laughs> it's elite version what? I don't know. Surely it's it, not. it blows out air, warm air. It's a hair dryer then. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not enough to blow and dry your hair. And there's well, a. I, I don't think so. I'm not sure where that's been. <laughs> it's a hair dryer. There's no other hair dryer around. 
So what do you think about the room, Kel? What do you think? I think... It is fabulous. I'm super excited about being in this room. I love having the couch to lounge on when we watch TV or just hang out at night. Like, I love this room. It's great. Awesome. All right, good deal. We are going to check out the pool and the decks on the ship. And I cannot wait to show them this. It is so beautiful up here. It's gorgeous. Quick tip for anyone who is a first time cruiser. There is no need to bring any towels at all. Not only do you not need towels for regular bathing, but you don't need beach towels or towels for the swimming pool either. And if you need a fresh one, there are stations available. All you have to do is swap them out and you are good to go. There is plenty of recreation on the Norwegian Sun. There's basketball, there's shuffleboard, there's an arcade, and there's even golf. I am inside the cage with Kelly for her golf shot, so this is super dangerous, probably not very smart on my part. I have not swung a golf club since I was probably 20, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to really embarrass myself in front of all of you guys, but hey, I'll give it a try. Sure. Good warm up, good warm up, good warm up. Nice, good shot. If you prefer to relax inside the ship, there's plenty of room for that as well. There are literally lounges at almost every turn. Let's talk photos on the Norwegian Sun. There will be many times while you're sailing that they will take your photos and when they do so, they will ask for your stateroom. This makes it very simple whenever you go to review the photos that you have and see if you want to purchase some of those. All you do is you come to the kiosk directly behind me, you take your stateroom card and you swipe that. It pulls up the photos for you and your guest. You're able to go through, order what you want to order and just discard what you don't. If you prefer to look at the hard copies, all you have to do is look at your key card. There's a four digit number and back behind the kiosk, there's actually these folders. You find the one with the number that corresponds to yours. You open it up and you have all the hard copy photos uh, that were taken of you during the cruise. One of the amazing things about sailing on cruises is you have the opportunity to make friends from literally around the world. This is three of my new friends from China, South Africa, and India. India. All right, <laughs> having a great time. Bye. Us too, bye. That's good. Bye. Hey, that's great. I love that behind. All right. And if you're up for shopping while you're on the Norwegian Sun, there are plenty of options available. Everything from jewelry to regular retail gifts. You can get all kinds of things, and that's spread across multiple levels on the ship. The casino is not something that my wife and I partake of personally when we are cruising. However, they do have one on the Norwegian Sun and it's a pretty popular place. So I'm just gonna take you through so you can see what that looks like. If you want to have internet access while you're on the ship, that is available. You just go by the main atrium and they have some kiosks set up where you sign up for that. However, the internet is a little pricey. Concerning electrical items, it is important to note that there are limited electrical outlets available in your stateroom. There are also special requirements on the type of power strip you're able to bring. One key cruise tip is to bring an approved power strip. We have a great one that we recommend and we have placed that on our cruise nice to haves list. If you're interested in that, we've placed it in a link down in the description. If you want to ensure you are up to speed on everything going on on the Norwegian Sun, one thing you want to be sure to check out is the Freestyle Daily. 
This is delivered to your stateroom every single night, and then inside of that, you get a breakdown of all of the next day's events, all the timelines, all of the important information you need to know to maximize your time of fun while sailing on the Norwegian sun. If you don't have your Freestyle Daily with you and you forget what's going on, be sure to check out the monitors that are located around the cruise ship to find out what the next event is on the schedule that you may be interested in. While sailing on the Norwegian sun, there is a full lineup of shows to take in every single day. Directly behind me is one of the prime locations to take in those shows, it's the Bliss Lounge. The main theater on the Norwegian Sun is called the Stardust Theater. Let's go in and have a look. All right, so make sure you subscribe. Also, a special thank you to Hammond Travel. We highly recommend booking your next travel with them. They're honest, you can trust them, they will help you a lot. We have placed their information down in the description below. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We have a lot of exciting travel adventures coming up, and you can find out all about that. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. You have a great day.